whether it's him or anybody else, if somebody's standing in front of me and my fist grazes their chin, is either I'm going to clip them or I'm going to knock them out. When the takedown broke kind of the way it did, did your eyes kind of light up and you sort of still balanced, you were able to flip them over? And I do that all the time. I like It's one of them things like my hips are strong, so regardless where my hips hit the ground, I'm able to pop right back up. And he was just in a position where he was so high, I just jacked up the wizard and he went rolling right over me. And it was kind of funny because it's almost like a judo throw. When people do it, you just keep on rolling. I just rolled in right into his guard and I was like, thank you. What would you like to do from here? Um, just keep on getting better. I mean, I've still got a lot to learn. Um, I'm still growing and um, I haven't even hit my, hit my peak yet. When I do hit my peak, it's just going to be a lot of trouble for everybody. Have you stayed at the same camp or have you moved around at all? I stayed at the same camp. Um, the only time I end up probably leaving just to train with bigger guys because I'm the biggest guy, but I just need people my size or people bigger than me uh, to move me around because I tend to be a lot of, actually people my size, I either tend to be a lot quicker or a lot stronger because um, I just come from a great background of like just playing football helped me out a lot agility wise. Um, just working out in the weight room. My hips are very strong, so that's why I develop a lot of punching power. So um, if I need to, when uh, my fight is getting closer, um, I will go to another gym to go train just to train bigger guys. Um, this last camp, I went down to Atlanta, and I went down to ATT, trained with uh, Jukal, um, all those guys down there. Um, helped me out a lot. Also, I trained with uh, Coach Manu at uh, Madhouse, and also... I trained with Brian Stan too, and all those guys, and they helped me out tremendously. When he had, I'm sorry, when he had his hands around your waist and went for the lift, and ultimately you swept, tell us about the exact moment when you realized what the counter would have been. Before he lifted, did you know that you were going to hit the wizard, or was it during? Well, the way I had set up the wizard, it was in really, really tight, and I knew as long as I lifted and I landed on my right hip, I can jack him up that way. I do that a lot in the gym. Uh, my coach don't like me doing it. He likes me using a lot of technique. That's a lot of hip and basically brute strength type of movement. And he was like, he don't like me doing it a lot just because when it gets in the third round, you're not going to be doing it like that. But mm. if, I was like, I might as well go for it, put myself in a better, better position, and I did. It's interesting to hear you say that because it looks to the uninitiated like a smooth technique, but people who know what they're seeing know that it's kind of just a power move, right? It is sort of, but you got to know your body too. It's just like, I know how my, uh, when you actually get lifted like that, you can, I can position my body in midair to land a certain way and actually reposition myself as I'm going to the ground. That's exactly what I did too. And finally on the ground and pound power within the guard, can you tell us when in your training you discovered that you didn't have to worry about passing, that you could just throw haze and, and not knock somebody out? I mean, I'm always, my coach, <laughs> He's always telling me to pass the guard. I feel comfortable when people guard. I mean, a lot of times it's one of them things where if I'm winding back and coming down with something, you better cover up. And the way, I, the way I'm always setting up, a lot of guys like to come over top, but I come around the arm because you're going to have your hand covering this way and this hole is opening. Mm -hmm. And it landed right there, and I just, when it landed solid, I was pretty much saying, her being coming, hurry up. <laughs> no, you didn't take any damage in this fight. How quickly would you like to fight again? Uh... <laughs> Next week. Yeah. <laughs> stay ready so you don't have to get ready, right? Okay, yeah, stay ready. <laughs> so, I'm, I mean, Monday, I'm back at the gym Monday. So, it's, it's no thing. Um, it feels good, actually. Uh, last two fights, I kind of nicked up a little bit. But this fight right here, smooth sailing, so I'm good. Right. Strike me as one of the bigger light heavyweights. Talk about the weight cut and the perfecting of that process. Man, man, weight cut. Um, it's different for everybody. I'm still trying to get it down to the science. I'm still trying to get it down to the science, but um, it's gotten better. It just got to be disciplined. I, I tell people sometimes it's just like um, it feels like when you weight cut and actually when you're getting ready for a fight, you don't ever want like distractions around. It's just because when you have distractions around, when you end up getting stressed, a little depressed feel like you're in an attic and you're going to relapse. And next thing you know, I'll be driving by and looking at a burger at McDonald's, and I'll, like, forget it. But, I mean, I'm getting better at it. Um, this past week, this week uh, of weight cutting, probably the easiest weight cutting I ever had in my life. Um, the Dolce diet helped out a lot. I was using that. And, I mean, even though I didn't like eating the spinach as much, or but it, it helped out a lot. It brought me down. Friday, I was about 209, and I only had to lose, like, four pounds. Never, ever have I had to lose four, four pounds for a fight. So 
definitely felt good. My cardio felt amazing. I was running Tuesday night, Wednesday night, and even Thursday night. I was running the whole time. I hate running. <laughs> I hate running. It's one of them things where I'm actually liking running now. So um, the weight cut, it's gotten easier. I just got to tip myself to keep myself at least around the 220, 222, 223 range, and I'll be perfectly fine. Congrats. Thank you. Thank Good you. Job.